He's going to be confirmed, and there's really nothing that the Democrats can do about it. The woman who recently accused Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct when they were in high school is now coming forward publicly. At the 11th hour, with committee votes on schedule, now they choose to introduce this allegation. It is an insult, insult, to the women of America to rush this through. You believe him? Yeah, I sure do. Uh -huh. Do you believe the accusers? Yeah. Well, I, I think she's mistaken. We want to go through a full process. I have great confidence in uh, the U.S. Senate. Has he offered to withdraw? Uh, next question. What a ridiculous question. Don't get rattled by all of this. We're going to plow right through it and do our job. The New Yorker magazine has just published a piece claiming sexual misconduct allegations against Brett Kavanaugh. But even by the far left standards, this shameful shameful smear campaign has hit a new low. I'm not going to let false accusations drive us out of, the, out of this process. I've never sexually assaulted anyone. New allegations against Brett Kavanaugh. Lawyer Michael Avenatti has now announced the identity of a third accuser. No excuse for the committee and for Brett Kavanaugh not calling Mark Judge to testify. I strongly believe Judge Kavanaugh should withdraw from consideration. Republicans could really afford to lose only one vote among their peers. Uh, they lose two. This thing is not happening. They know it's a big, fat con job. And they go into a room, and I guarantee you, they laugh like hell. The stakes are so high in this hearing, and it's in large part because right now Republicans don't have the votes. With what degree of certainty do you believe Brett Kavanaugh assaulted you? 100%. This was extremely emotional. This is a disaster for the Republicans. This whole two-week effort has been a calculated and orchestrated political hit. To my Republican colleagues, if you vote no, you're legitimizing the most despicable thing I have seen in my time in politics. None of these allegations are true. Correct. No doubt in your mind. Zero. 100% certain. Jeff Flake will vote to confirm Judge Kavanaugh. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You're telling me that my assault doesn't matter. What is going on here? He put out a statement before he even walked into the room. Delay the floor vote in order to let the FBI um, continue uh, to do an investigation. Having them do a thorough investigation, I actually think will be a blessing in disguise. How did you get home? I don't remember. How'd you get there? I don't remember. Where is the place? I don't remember. How many years ago was it? I don't know. Members of the Senate Judiciary Committee will get their first look at the FBI's new background investigation into Brett Kavanaugh. The Washington Post also reports tonight the agent's work was curtailed. The FBI did not interview Brett Kavanaugh nor did the FBI interview Dr. Blasey Ford. Susan Collins, Jeff Flake, Joe Manchin will move forward. Judge Brett All Kavanaugh right. will get a shot at a final vote. I believe Dr. Ford. Something it's happened to Dr. Right. Ford. I don't believe that the facts show that it was Brett Kavanaugh. I do not believe that Brett Kavanaugh was her assailant. I do believe that she was assaulted. I don't know by whom. On this vote, the eyes are 50. The nays are 48. The nomination of Brett M. Kavanaugh is confirmed. If Donald Trump were to name somebody in the final year of his first term, are you saying that you would go ahead with that nomination? We'll see whether there's a vacancy in 2020.